residence. So, have you gone through the case files? Is there anything that caught your eye? Oh, have they approved it already? <laughs> the Tenryo Commission certainly has become more efficient ever since Kujo Kamaji took office. So, what is Hazotox fraud? It's an anti-fraud public awareness event. Basically, think of it as a short play about fraud. We'll get a few people to perform an entertaining drama in order to raise public awareness about the issue. Ooh, so it's a play? Paima likes the sound of that. <laughs> well, see, fraud is a major issue here. You've traveled between different nations. I'm sure Mora isn't really an issue for you. You have to understand that scamming the poor of their money is essentially robbing them of their lives. Left unchecked, the situation could potentially deteriorate into something more... serious. Hmm, that makes sense. But will putting on a performance really work? It's hard to say. Preventing crimes is more difficult than solving them, there's no doubt about that. But prevention is also a more worthwhile cause. Maybe only a small number of people who attend the event will ever actually encounter a scam artist. And even then, of the handful of attendees who encounter said scam artist, I doubt many of them will be able to see through the scammer's ruse. But if even only one person escapes the clutches of a scam artist because of my event, then I'm willing to put on this play for that person. Alright, count us in! Today we are the anti-fraud messengers! <laughs> Great! First, we need three actors, two to play the scam artists and one to play the victim. I already have a couple candidates in mind for the roles of the scam artists, so come with me to the Grand Narukami Shrine. Ooh, if we're going to the Grand Narukami Shrine, are you planning to recruit Miko for your play? She'd be really good at acting. <laughs> well, I guess you'll have to wait and see. Hazo, what are you doing here, you little brat? Oh, and the Traveler, too. So, I assume you're here to see Lady Yae? <laughs> hey, come on, cuz. Maybe I'm just here to see you. <laughs> Don't play your little games with me. If the Traveler isn't looking for Lady Yae, then you must be here looking for Etsu, right? You still know me best, cuz. Please wait here. I'll go get her. Huh, so we're not here to see Miko? Bummer. I'm flattered, but even if I wanted to, do you really think I could convince Lady Yai to join a little event like mine? Get the Traveler to ask her next time. He can do it! Well, hello, Detective Hazo. It's been so long since you last came to see me. You know, it's cruel to keep a girl waiting. Hey, community service isn't all bad, is it? I'm sure it's better than prison, at least. That's right. I was careless and found myself caught up in a case of fraud. Detective Hazo arrested me, and I was sentenced to prison. For the record, I'm not the one who technically arrested you. Oh, come now, Detective Hazo. Don't pretend like you don't remember the part you played. You have a cold heart, Detective. Colder than an icicle in the middle of winter. How would those doshin have nabbed me if you hadn't provided evidence of my involvement and whereabouts, hmm? They were so bland and functional. Not like you, detective. When you took me down, you knew exactly what you were doing. So, uh, how did you end up here at the shrine? I'm here doing community service, of course. After all the information Detective Hazo managed to squeeze out of me, he promised to help secure a reduced sentence from the court. But in the end, they hardly reduced my sentence at all. Even after serving a lengthy prison term, I am still required to perform community service. I have to spend the entire day sweeping leaves or wiping floors. Just look at what the work has done to my soft and delicate hands. <sighs> so, don't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. I helped you get community service because you were credited with assisting the investigation. 
But if you find it too exhausting, I can always send you back to prison again. Oh, come on, Detective Hazo. Now you're just toying with me. Don't give me that. Listen, I'd like to invite you to the anti-fraud event I mentioned last time. It's tomorrow night, and you'll be a VIP guest. Let's see. Appearing in the event would be equivalent to... What? Five days of community service? How does that sound? Only five days? That's hardly anything. Five days not enough? Okay. How about four days? Hey! That's a day less than what you just promised me, Detective Hazo. Oh, my mistake. Three days. Uh, all right, I'll go. Just stop playing with my heart. And may I ask, will they also be coming as a guest tomorrow night? No wonder you're treating me so coldly today, Detective Hazo. Looks like you found someone else to keep you company. And what a charmer they are. I get what you see in them. I mean, you'd have to be blind not to. Etsu, now's not the time. If I hear you talking like that to my friend again, I'll make your community service even more unpleasant than your time in prison. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had no idea they were your friend. Uh, really. Well, now you do. Just be sure you're ready tomorrow. I'll send you the location, time of the event, and the script. So don't be late. All right, on to our next candidate. He should be in town right about now. Mr. Iba, how are you doing? Oh, well, if it isn't Hazel. Thanks to you, I haven't kicked the bucket yet. Well, it's good to see you're alive. And, and well. All right, out with it. I know you wouldn't come see me for nothing. <laughs> I see you're still sharp as ever, Mr. Iba. Look, have you had a chance to think about that anti-fraud event I mentioned to you last time? You can forget it. I'm pushing 71 this year. You think I want to make a fool of myself? Are you sure? You know, this event is very well funded. And now that the Sakoku decree has been repealed, I heard that your granddaughter Kazumi wants to take the chance to travel. If you participate, she can go without worrying about money at all. Huh? How did you know? Sure, I paid a hefty fine at the time, but I can still afford her travels. You're Hazo's colleague, aren't you? How haven't you heard about this? Well, it just so happens that Mr. Iba was a well-known figure in Inazuma back in the day. His Iba trading guild was even bigger than the current International Trade Association. Don't bring it up again. If I hadn't been misled by that foreign merchant, I never would have become a commercial scammer. Fortunately, young Hazo here has some respect for the elderly and applied for a probationary sentence. Otherwise, I don't think I would have ever seen the light of day again. Well, if Hazel was so good to you, then you should help him out too. <laughs> <laughs> He's not as innocent as he looks, you know. He just knows it's easier to get information when we're chatting outside. Ask him if you don't believe me. <laughs> Those are some pretty harsh words, Mr. Eva. Uh, anyway, I can't help you with that, uh, event, or whatever you call it. Ah, uh, man alive. What should I do now? I already told Kazumi that you'd show up and caution everybody about avoiding fraud. I'm sure it'd be beneficial for everyone, and Kazumi even agreed to come and listen. How can I explain to her that you were too worried about being embarrassed? Oh, she might even think that you feel no remorse at all. You... you imbecile! You should have told me about this first! Come on now, how could I have known that you'd refuse to participate? Why, you... <sighs> you sure are a crafty one, just like your father. So you'll join us? What choice do I have? <laughs> Using my granddaughter to force me into some event. People these days. <laughs> the world needs you to step up. I will send the time and place of the event as well as the script. So don't forget to prepare. All right, all right. Very well. Well then. Now we only need to find the last person to play the role of the fooled victim. We don't want someone too clever for this role. Otherwise... 
They'd see right through this ruse, and the drama would come to a grinding halt. Hmm. Not too clever. <gasps> oh! Paimon knows the perfect candidate. Oh, yeah. I know that guy. I've seen him in the police station a handful of times, though I've never actually spoken to him before. Do you know where we can find him? Well, we did just see a file called The Prince of Mischief in Hanamizaka. That's gotta be Ito. He must be in Hanamizaka. All right, then. To Hanamizaka we go. Oh, but knowing his reputation, I'll need to bring a little something along just to guarantee we can secure his participation. You go ahead. I'll catch up. How about that, kiddo? My little prince of mischief's got some moves, huh? Guess that means your Onikabuto is now my Onikabuto. <laughs> Ito! What are you up to? Huh? Oh, Paimon! My compadre! This is a nice surprise. What brings you out this way? What? No! No, no, it's not... No, it's nothing like that. They let me look after their own Ikabuto, just for a little while, for safekeeping, and then, uh, you know, once they've gotten stronger, they can come and take him right back. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> That's right, my little guy. Good attitude. All right, see you around. Okay, <laughs> yeah, bye. There's just no helping this guy. Oh, an anti-fraud event? Ah, I'll level with you, compadre. I have no idea what that is, but uh, if you want me there, I can think of nowhere I'd rather be. Oh, except that there's this Onikabuto Battle Royale tomorrow night that I was planning on going to. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> no holds barred, winner takes home all the Onikabuto. And uh, as you can see, my Prince of Mischief has a pretty good chance of winning this thing, so uh, ah, if it was any other day, you know? Do you think all of those Onikabuto together would be a match for my one? Here's a picture. Let me know what you think. Huh? What? What this? What is this? How'd it get so big? What are you feeding this thing? Look at those beautiful demon stripes. Those those razor sharp horns. Is this the fabled Emperor Onikabuto? This is a small token we provide for VIPs. If you're willing to attend, then one of these will be yours at the end of the event. Whoa, okay. I'm there. <laughs> Wait a sec. You look familiar. Who are you anyway? And furthermore, do Onikabuto really come in this size? You're not trying to con me, are you? Because the more I think about it, the more I'm inclined to think that you're a contestant in tomorrow night's Onikabuto Battle Royale. Yeah, you lost to me in a previous beetle battle, and now you're trying to get the reigning champ out of the way. Without Prince of Mischief to contend with, you'll be free to sweep in and take all the Onikabuto. Am I right or am I right? Nice try, you little punk. Ten out of ten for the pitch, but, uh, you picked the wrong victim. Okay, okay. Then again, consider this. If your Prince of Mischief isn't competing, what's the point of me taking part? After all, all I'd stand to win is a bunch of puny little larvae. No? Well, uh, uh, huh. You've stumped me there. <laughs> you, uh, you are completely right. I can't believe I didn't think of that. <laughs> Sorry, my bro. My main man, my buddy. I had you all wrong. So, are you sure this guy's our best choice? Yeah, see? He was already wondering if you were trying to con him. Then allow me to introduce myself. I'm Shikanoin Heizo. I've seen you around a few times before at the police station. Huh? Oh, yeah, I remember now. No wonder you looked so familiar. You were that guy who was in for stealing other people's Onikabuto, right? Listen, Heizo, hombre, did you apologize to them? You can lose like a man, you can win like a man, but you can never steal like a man. And that's a little Ito nugget. Uh, Ito! He works there, for crying out loud! He's not one of your fellow inmates! What? Oh, jeez! Ah, uh, what's wrong with me? How could I forget? Of course I know you. I remember you now. For real, <laughs> this time. You're the guy who sells lavender melons at the station, aren't you? A lavender melon seller? At the police station? Don't be ridiculous! 
I know what I saw, okay? Several times now I've been sitting there starving in jail when this guy comes and slips me a few lavender melons on the sly. Didn't even want payment. Solid guy. Yeah, that was me. But it was only because your assistant, Kuki Shinobu, asked me to look out for you. What? So Shinobu was behind it? Wait, I... I so, Ombre, you're, you're... You're not a lavender melon seller? Look, we're... We're getting hung up on all the wrong details here. The important detail right now is that I am the host of tomorrow night's event. And if you show up, the Oni Kabuto in the picture is yours. Deal? Deal! Done! But, uh, could I get another look at that picture first? Just, uh, a little peeksy? You'll have all the time in the world to inspect the real article once the event's over. Uh, okay, sure. I can wait. So, uh, Ombre, is there anything I need to do to prepare? Because if I'm doing this, I'm bringing my A-game, alright? No half measures here, I'm gonna do this right. He sure picks his moments to start acting responsibly. Okay, so for this event, you, my, uh, <clears throat> bro, will be participating in a short anti-fraud play along with two other VIP attendees. The main thing we ask is that you just relax. Try not to be nervous. I have the script, uh, right here, if you want to take a... Script? What? <laughs> it sounds like someone's never seen the Arataki Gang perform before, huh? <laughs> Don't you worry, hombre. The Arataki Gang is a little beyond the need for scripts. You'll see. This Sony Kabuto will be well worth your investment. You, uh, don't need a script? Wow. Well... Now I'm excited. See you there tomorrow night. You bet. I'll be there. I'm gonna tell the gang about this, too. They'll all be there to support us. It's almost time. Everyone ready? All right. Then let's get this show started. Oh, I can't wait, Mr. Hazo. Let's get going, Hazo. Emperor Oni Kabuto, hang in there, your highness. I'm coming for you. It takes years to make a fortune, but only a moment to lose it all to a scam artist. Welcome to the first Hazo Talks Fraud. I am your eponymous host, Hazo. Okay, I'm delighted to have you all here today to explore the topic of fraud. To help everyone avoid becoming the victim of scam artists themselves, we thought we'd invite several VIPs with a lot of experience in this area to perform a little play with an anti-fraud message. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Miss Etsu, Mr. Iba, and the venerable gentleman, Mr. Arataki Ito. Without further ado, let the show begin. It was just another bright, sunny day when a distressed Miss Etsu brought her elderly grandpa, Iba, into the police station to report a crime. There, they were greeted by a kindly Doshin, surname Harataki. Doshin Harataki, please help us! My poor grandpa has been defrauded! Doshin Harataki? I, uh, <laughs> you talking to me? <clears throat> Perhaps for want of familiarity with the script, a confused look creeps over Doshin Arataki's face, and he asks himself that age-old question. Who am I? Yes, you are Doshin Arataki! <laughs> You're Doshin Arataki! Oh, so I'm this I'm in the play. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm I'm a Doshin, of course. Okay, <clears throat> I got this. Ma'am, can you tell who it was that defrauded your grandfather? Rest assured, the Tenryo Commission and I are here to bring them to justice. I don't know. It was too late when I found out. They took all of my grandpa's money, and all they left was this note. Doshin Arataki frowns as he realizes this is more complicated than he thought. He takes the note in his hand and reads it out loud. I am the Raiden Shogun. I am currently being held hostage by the Crux fleet and urgently need 200,000 mora to secure my release. Please place the ransom mora on the north coast of the deserted island. When all of this is over, I will promote- It's the Almighty Shogun! 
We cannot let Her Excellency come to harm. Uh, but this is a scam, surely. I mean, 200,000 Mora? Kinda lowballing it for the Electro Archon, don't you think? Shouldn't it be like, uh, 300,000 at the very least? Well, I sure thought so, but Grandpa's already parted with the money. Well, then we gotta get it back. I is there still time? Before I could go out to look for it, Grandpa received another note. Doshin Arataki takes the note and reads it out loud. I am Miss Hina. I am currently raising funds to publish a photo book. I urgently need 300,000 mora for publishing fees. In return for your support, you will receive a limited edition signed photograph. It's Miss Hina. <clears throat> we can't leave poor Miss Hina in a tight spot. You're right, Gramps. Is 300,000 mora enough? I, I can spare some too if we need to make up the difference. Maybe I can get a photo of Miss Hina too. I, I mean, uh, we gotta help Miss Hina out here. It's a scam, Doshin Arataki! Snap out of it! Oh, right, yeah, no, yeah, cuz if Miss Hina needed funds, she'd come to me first, you know, uh, as her number one fan. Why would she go asking this old geezer for help? <laughs> These con artists don't know who they're up against. <laughs> well, anyway, not long after Grandpa handed over the money, he received yet another note. Doshin Arataki grabs the note and reads it aloud. I am Arataki Ito. I was recently framed for a crime I totally did not commit, and now I'm stuck here in prison. I am in urgent need of 500,000 mora as bail. In return for your help getting me out, I will bring the whole gang over to thank you personally at your house. Must be a scammer, surely. <clears throat> I've never heard of this person, and they're asking me for 500,000 mora. Wait a minute. This is a scam. I'm Arataki Ito. Uh, you are? But your name tag says... Doshin Arataki follows Miss Etsu's gaze to the name tag emblazoned on his chest, which reads, Arataki Shmito. What kind of whack job script is this? Am I me or ain't I? So, the bail money? Nope, no way, not a chance. Arataki Ito would never ask innocent people for Mora in order to post bail. Whoever wrote this is a liar and a cheat. And we gotta get out there and get this guy off our streets. But just as Doshin Arataki is being overcome with righteous indignation, the sound of Miss Etsu's weeping brings his attention back to her. <laughs> Miss Etsu, don't you worry. We're gonna catch the people who did this. Even if you do catch them, how are we ever going to get Grandpa's money back? Oh, whatever are we going to do about all those Onikabuto? Onikabuto? Wait, uh, what, what was that about the, uh, Onikabuto? Oh, well, Grandpa is a major Onikabuto breeder in our village. His are the biggest and strongest Onikabuto around. People come from far and wide to buy from him. We recently received an order that was too big for our current capacity. We were planning to expand Grandpa's facilities, but then we were swindled out of all of our money. <laughs> right after we'd signed the contract, too! If we don't deliver these Onikabuto on time, Grandpa will have to pay huge damages. Oh, what are we going to do? Man, what's that saying? It's like, um, uh, it never rains, but it snowballs. <sighs> exactly what we're dealing with. Etsu, my dear, don't worry. I'll sell the house if I have to. We'll find a way through. But then where will we stay? <laughs> Please help us, Doshin Hartaki. All we need is the 500,000 mora that was taken from us. Can you help us raise it? Or... or maybe you could lend it to us? Grandpa's business is going very well. We just need help getting over this hurdle. Doshin Arataki, please. If you lend us the money, I'm sure I can make it up to you by... I won't hear of it. As a public servant, I would never dream of taking advantage of a person in need. 
I was going to say, by giving you part ownership of the Oni Kabuto farm. Oh, so that's what you were, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not as enticing an offer as I was. Uh, wait, well, uh, uh, an Oni Kabuto farm, how many Oni Kabuto did you say you have? Because if it's more than, say, ten... Ten thousand! What? Ten thousand? Well, th that's more Oni Kabuto than I've seen in my whole life! Please help us. As long as we get through this, those ten thousand Oni Kabuto are yours to keep. Ten thousand Oni Kabuto? Hey, if, if, if I looked after them, they'd have little baby Oni Kabuto. And then the, the little baby Oni Kabuto would grow up and have little baby Oni Kabuto of their own! Doshin Arataki is struck by a sudden wave of pure elation. His face breaks into a big, beaming smile. But what does he do next? Misetsu, don't you worry. I'm gonna help you out. But 10,000 is too many. I can only accept 1,000. Wait, no, what am I saying? 500 Onikabuto. As a Doshin of the Tenryo Commission, it is my duty to serve. How could I abuse my position to take advantage of you? That's great news, Master Arataki. What a wonderful person you are. So strong and handsome and committed to doing the right thing. It's rare to find these days. <laughs> yep, that's me. All right, there's just one final question that needs answering. What question is that? The question is... Where's my Mora? Huh. Yo, Hazo, my ombre, uh, question for you. What's my character's salary in the script? Oh, also, any inheritance or other lump sums I should know about? <laughs> Basically, can I afford this 500,000 Mora? I mean, Shmito. Can sh I can afford it. <laughs> can Shmito. Ahem. Faced with a damsel in distress, Doshin Arataki fights to remain level-headed and asks that other age-old question. Where's my Mora? Suddenly, he feels a strange compulsion to slide his hand into his pocket where, it turns out, a bank check has been quietly nestled all along. He draws the check out and inspects it. Today is payday, and this is his salary. The amount? 500,000 Mora. Whoa, check it out! A check for 500,000 Mora! <laughs> Where'd you come from, buddy? Misetsu, get this. Turns out I just got paid 500,000 Mora today. Well, here's your Mora. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Master Arataki, what's wrong? Doshin Arataki stretches out his hand. But wait, just as he is about to hand over the check to Miss Etsu, he hesitates, tightly pinching one end of the check betwixt his two fingers. All he needs to do now is release the check, and it will fall into Miss Etsu's eager hands. But let go of the check he does not. Master Arataki! Let go! Wait, wait. Something's not right. Doshin Arataki is having second thoughts. Has something caught his attention? Has it aroused his suspicion? Has he finally realized the truth? So, uh, this is an anti-fraud show, right? Huh? <clears throat> A spark of intuition bursts to life in Doshin Arataki's mind. Since this is an anti-fraud event, I have a question. Is he about to ask the most critical question of all? I gotta ask. This is it. Here it comes. Does a Doshin really get paid this much? 500,000 Mora. Enough to get an Electro Archon out from a hostage situation, then go pay for Miss Hina's publishing costs. You telling me the average Doshin can do all that on one pay packet? I don't know, seems pretty fishy to me. Hey, compadre, what do you think? Am I being scammed here? <laughs> hey, though, Edo's cheating! He asked for help! <sighs> As the spark of intuition flickers and threatens to fade, Doshin Arataki clutches around in desperation, hoping to find a source of fuel to feed the flames of enlightenment. Traveler, are you going to help this poor man out of his predicament? You follow my heart. All right then, 
there's no way a doshi makes 500,000 mora in a single pay packet. Two innocent victims, Miss Etsu and Mr. Iba, come to a doshin for help. And the doshin, what, whips out a 500,000 mora check? Yeah, likely story. There's only one possible explanation. Who's got two horns and carries around a fake checkbook? Yep, this guy. With this fake check for 500,000 mora, I almost swindled Etsu and Iba out of 10,000 Onikabuto, the last thing these poor folks needed after the recent string of catastrophes they faced. My mind is blown. Craziest plot twist I ever heard. The criminal was the main character all along. Miss Etsu, I'm afraid I can't let myself give you this fake check. But I will do everything in my power to raise 500,000 genuine mora for you. So don't you worry. What the? <clears throat> oh, jeez. In the end, Doshin Arataki listened to the voice of his heart and narrowly avoided being defrauded in his own unconventional way. But regrettably, he failed to ask the critical question. Who in their right mind would give away Oni Kabuto for free? I ask you all, is there such a thing as free Oni Kabuto? Free Mora? Or does nothing in life come for free? Thank you all for watching Heizo Talks Fraud. Don't get greedy and you won't be needy. Stay alert and you won't get hurt. You never know where scammers may lurk. See you all next time. Wait, wait, uh, my man. <laughs> what did you mean when you said I avoided being defrauded? I thought I was the fraudmeister here. Maybe someone should have read the script. Miss Etsu and Master Eva were the scam artists. Duh! You were the one they were trying to scam. What? Huh? What? I was being conned? Darn, I can't believe they got me. Well, you still managed to protect your money. In the end, they didn't succeed. Yeah, but that was a happy coincidence. They scammed me, and I fell for it. Guessing it wasn't your first time either, huh? Ah, uh, it was such a cheap trick, too. Oh, this is killing me! The trick is a common one for a reason, but don't underestimate it. That's how you end up being a victim. But how am I gonna protect my gang if even I get fooled by such cheap tricks? Don't blame yourself, old chap. In, in, in fact, you know what? I was also conned today. Yeah, me, of all people. Does that make you feel better? You too, hombre? No way! What? No, that's impossible. You're just trying to cheer me up. Oh, no, no, it's the truth. Please, just take a look at the present I got for you. Wait, uh, why can't it move? That's just it. I'm sorry to say. It's just a figurine. What? A figure? Y you mean, it's a fake? Uh, yeah, and it's all my fault. I was duped by the Onikabuto vendor's false advertising. What a colossal fool I am. Taken in by a common street vendor? Ugh. So you really were conned, dude! Let me take a second to let that sink in. Oh, gotta say, although I didn't get my Emperor Oni Kabuto, somehow, knowing that even Hazel got conned kinda puts me back in a good mood. It's, uh, strange. Maybe I'm sharper than I'm giving myself credit for. Great minds think alike, so, uh, me and my ombre here, kinda equally matched. <laughs> hey, by the way, compadre, looks like you're the only one out of the three of us who didn't get conned today. But you better watch out. We got fooled not because we were stupid, but because those scam artists are some crafty dastards. I want you to have this figurine as a reminder of the fact that today, Hazel and I both got conned, but we both grew a little wiser too. I hope that whenever you see it, you'll remember how cunning those con artists were and how difficult it was for Hazel and I to see through their schemes. Then, you'll always keep your wits about you, and you'll never become a victim yourself. 
Yep, that's right. No one will ever manage to con you. Traveler, are you going to help this poor man out of his predicament? Aha! Etsu and Iba! So that's what's going on here! You two are the scam artists. You put on this damsel in distress and elderly grandpa act to win my sympathy, then used a few cheap tricks to get my attention. Then you dangled the bait in front of me, waiting for me to bite. <sighs> Darn it. I knew it. Who in their right mind would give away Oni Kabuto for free, let alone 10,000 of them? It's too good to be true, and that's how I know you're the scam artists. You got a lot of nerve trying to scam a Doshin. You're coming with me, and you'll give a full confession if you know what's good for you. Finally, with the help of his intuition and a little guidance from beyond the void, Doshin Arataki successfully avoided being defrauded. Not only that, but he asked a critical question. Who in their right mind would give away Oni Kabuto for free? I ask you all, is there such a thing as free Oni Kabuto? Free Mora? Or does nothing in life come for free? All right, remember, it takes years to make a fortune, but only a moment to lose it all to a scam artist. Thank you once again for watching Hazo Talks Fraud. Stay alert, everybody, and see you again next time. So, how's my acting? I think I did just fine without a script. Those two would-be scam artists need to up their game if they want to have a chance of taking me down. Uh, hello? Without that hint from the Traveler, you would have handed that cash away without a second thought. Right, yeah. I should thank him for the timely hint. But I pretty much knew off the bat that something fishy was about to go down, so, uh, you know, it was just a matter of time before I saw right through their scam. <laughs> Seriously, oldest trick in the book. Who's gonna fall for that? Old tricks they may well be, but the reason they've stood the test of time is that the ideal victim is always out there somewhere. People who are behind on the times, naive, socially isolated, or have cognitive deficiencies. Just because they don't always get noticed doesn't mean they're not there. Scammers cast a wide net. Sure, maybe 10,000 fish will escape, but they only need one catch for them to win and for us to lose. Well, no more losing from now on. Not with me here to protect everyone. I think we can all agree that my performance today shows I'm savvy enough to keep the scammers at bay. <laughs> Don't be too confident. Anyway, Ito, my old... What was it again? Ah, yes, bro. Here's the reward you were promised. Ah, music to my ears. Emperor Oni Kabuto, come to Papa. Oh, look at those sharp horns and those beautiful stripes. Uh, well, hold on. Uh, Hizo, <laughs> my ombre, why won't it move? Hey, bud, move. Oh no, I think this one might have uh, joined the big beetle battle in the sky. It's a figurine. So not the moving kind. What? A figure? So... it's a fake? Man alive, you seem a little surprised. Wait, you didn't actually think this was a real Oni Kabuto, did you? <laughs> no, surely not. Ito, old chap, you must have seen from the photograph that it was a figurine. Don't tell me you didn't notice. Really? <laughs> you little punk! Give me my Emperor Oni Kabuto now!